Okay, let us discuss this problem. So let me first make the diagram. So you have, so there is a plus Q charge here you have, and at this distance you have plus Q charge again. This is again plus Q, and then you have minus Q charge here. So this is minus Q, and this is a square. And you have a minus Q charge here. Now diagonal length is 2L. That is also given to you. So the length of the diagonal of a square is 2L. So let me read. This says point charges Q and minus Q. So this is plus Q and minus Q. Are located at a vertices of a square. So this is a square. With diagonal 2L as shown in the figure, find the magnitude of electric field strength at a point located symmetrically with respect to vertices of a square at a distance x from its center. So now, if you see, this is the center of a square. From this center. At a distance of x, there is a point located, and this is symmetrical to this point, this point, and this point, and this point. So from this, this, from this point, there is a point at a distance x, and that is symmetrical to these four points. This means this point has to be perpendicular to this point. This means this is out of plane. Are you getting? I can show you something like this. So let us say this is your square. So this is your square, and charges are. So this is plus. Here you have plus charge, plus charge, minus charge, minus charge, and this is the center. Now at a distance x from center, so this means I have to go perpendicular direction. That is the something like in this direction, and then I will have a situation that is symmetrical to all the charges. So this is at a distance x. So this is the line on which, at a distance x, there is a point P. And I have to find what is the electric field at P. So my target is to find electric field at P. Uh, so how will you proceed? So let us name these charges. So let us call this is the vertex A. This is vertex B. This is C and this is D, and this point is P. Let us also give the coordinates. So this axis I can call this a x, and this axis is a y axis. So this is my x axis. So and this is my y axis. So let us say this is my y axis, and this one is my z axis. So I can always put my coordinate. This is my x axis, and let us say this is my y axis. Are you getting? And this is my z axis, the top one. This is my z axis. Now let us consider first electric field due to A. So field due to A. Field due to A. Magnitude is easy. Everybody knows that is q by 4 pi epsilon r square. So this charge is plus. So the magnitude will be Q by 4 pi epsilon naught, and R is what? R is this distance from here to here, and this distance is nothing but this distance is L that is given in the problem. So 2L is the total diagonal length. So half diagonal length is L, and this length is x. So this length AP, that is AP square. Here we will have AP square. And AP will be nothing but L square plus X square under root. And if you take a square, you will simply have Q by 4 pi epsilon naught L square plus X square. So this is the field due to A magnitude wise. What will be that the direction of this field? 
Now you see this will be directed along line AP. So this fill will be directed along line AP. So I need a unit vector along line AP. And that is same as vector AP divided by magnitude of vector AP. Are you getting or not? So what is vector AP? So I need, I know the, so let us set the coordinates. So this is 0, 0, 0. So this coordinate is 0, 0, 0. So this is 0, this is x side. So this is L, 0, 0. Are you getting? What is the coordinate of this point? In this case, y coordinate will be negative because my y is this side. x coordinate will be 0 because this is not on the x line. So x is 0, y is minus L and z is 0. Let us for this point. So this is minus x, that is minus L by 0, z is 0. You can do yourself. Now for this point, x is 0, y is minus L and z is 0. Now for this point, this will have x coordinate 0, y coordinate 0, but z coordinate is x. Are you getting? So vector AP will be nothing but, you can write yourself, so coordinate of P minus coordinate of A. So coordinate of P is 0, 0, x, that is 0, i plus 0, j plus x, k. So this means x, k minus this vector. So this is minus of minus L that will become plus L J. Are you getting this is J coordinate. So this is minus of minus that is plus J. So plus L J. Are you getting? So this is the vector AP. And what is the magnitude of vector AP? Simply L square plus X square. So magnitude AP from here I can write so x square plus l square and the root that is the magnitude of ap so unit vector in the direction of ap ah sorry so this is the unit vector along the direction of ap will be mod ap x by ap by mod ap so x k plus l z divided by root over x square plus l square are you getting? Now I can write electric field. So field due to A. Electric field due to A I can write in terms of vector. So you know this is Q by 4 pi epsilon naught L square plus X square. So Q by 4 pi epsilon naught L square plus X square. And then I have to multiply by unit vector. Unit vector I have already calculated. So X K plus L Z divided by under root L square plus X square. So you see this will become Q by 4 pi epsilon naught L square plus X square 3 by 2. And here you will have unit vector XK plus LJ. So XK plus LJ. So this we have done in vector form. So we have applied Coulomb's law or electric field in vector form. So similarly you can find electric field due to B and electric field C and due to D. So all the things remain same. Only thing is this unit vector is going to change. Because all points are symmetrical. So there will be only change at this place. This will remain same. So let us put this here. Q by 4 pi epsilon naught. L square plus X square 3 by 2. Now only this term will change. Are you getting or not? So only this term will change. So try to see if you have B, uh, what will be this vector? So you see, so if you here, so for B, this will be final minus initial. So 0i plus 0j plus xk minus li. So this will be xk minus li. Are you getting? So this will be xk minus li. Similarly, you can write for C and D, you can do yourself. So electric field due to C and one, of course, for C and D, the charges is negative. So I have to put a minus sign also. So minus Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught L square plus X square 3 by 2. And I have to write unit vector. So you see, for C, now this is final minus initial, so 0 i 0 k x k minus l j, so plus, so this will be plus, so x k 
this is plus L. This is not minus. So this is a along the direction of y. So this will be plus L. Are you getting? So this will be x k minus L j. X k minus L j. Now let us discuss d part E d. So electric field due to charge d. Again, this is a negative charge. So put the negative sign. 4 pi epsilon naught. L square plus x square. 3 by 2. And then you have to use the unit vector. So d is here. So this is final minus initial. So 0 i 0 k x k plus l i. So x k plus l i. x k plus l i. Now if you add all these electric field because we have already said electric field can be superimposed. So electric field resultant electric. So these are all vector. If you want, you can put the vector sign also. So electric field resultant will be E A plus E B plus E C plus E D. Now see magnitude wise Q by 4 pi epsilon. This term is common, so I can always put this common Q by 4 pi epsilon naught A square plus X square. Raised to the power three by two. Now let us discuss this unit vector. So try to see from here. So if you see the first term, I have x k. Let us look. Do I have somewhere minus x k? So this is my x k, and this will be minus x k because this negative will go here. So I will have minus x k. So this x k, this x k cancel, and this x k, this x k will cancel because this minus will go inside. Are you getting or not? So let us see here. So this is plus x k, this is plus x k, two plus x k. Now this is minus x k, minus x k, so minus two x k. So k component will be zero. So I can write zero k. Now let us discuss i and j component. So j component here I will have l j. Are you getting? So this is plus L J. This is again plus L J because minus minus plus plus L J. I don't have any energy component, so I will have L J. Are you getting? Now let us consider I component. In this case, no I. In this case, minus I. In this case, again minus I because this will go inside. So I will have minus two I. Okay. So here I have to put two I J. So here we have two. L I. Are you getting or not? So if you copy, I can say electric field is given by Q by 4 pi epsilon naught A square plus X square. 3 by 2, and if we take 2 common, so this simply L also common, so this becomes a minus or plus I. Let me check. So this is plus I and minus I here, and you have minus I here, so minus I, so minus 2 Li. Are you getting? So I can have 2 Li have taken common, so J minus I. So what will be the resultant magnitude of electric field? So E will be so I square plus Z square root. So that is root two. So I can write two root two Q L by four pi epsilon naught E square plus X square to the power three by two. Now if somebody says so the direction of electric field. So this is directed along Z minus I. So I need a vector Z and minus I. So you see, j is my this vector. So this side I have j vector, and this side I have i vector. Ah, this side is i vector. So minus i is this side. So j minus i will be diagonally opposed. So this in this direction. I'll go. So this is the direction of j minus i, because this makes a 45 angle. J component and i component both have unit one. So j minus i will denote this vector. So diagonally. So this will bisect the diagonal. So if you see here. So at this point P, there will be electric field, then that will be directed in this direction. Are you getting or not? 
so if you put a charge here this will be attracted in this direction are you getting or not so this is the electric field magnitude wise quite interesting problem so message is whenever you have this kind of problem what can you do is you can always use the vector form of electrostat that is coulomb's law vector form of coulomb's law you can write the vertex coordinate and you write the coordinate of that point and you can always set a unit vector in that direction so always try to fit the coordinates that is very useful you can do this problem also by uh, just guessing there are force on this you can do this the same thing you can do also other way around you can find forces so let us say you can do something like this you can guess at this point due to this charge so this is positive positive negative negative so due to this charge the force will be in this direction due to this charge force will be in this direction due to this charge force will be in this direction due to this charge force will be in this direction so you can see the component of y will cancel the z component will cancel we got this component this component this and this so i can say ez will be zero now i will have only x and y and there is no reason x and y both will be equal because things are symmetrical so resultant will be root 2 times e x are you getting or not so if you find e x and e y basically e x will become 2 times of one charge so if i say e x is due to only one charge so then in that case it will be 2 root 2 e x because e x will be two uh, two times the charge one due to one charge the total e x is sum of the two charges so you can do this problem also even this method but leave this one using the vector method you can always solve so let's discuss the next problem if you are more interested you can think in terms of this you can do the same thing if you want let's discuss the next problem